What is going on, Bless Squad? It's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cup with another video. And in today's video, your girl is going to be doing a perfume plus body spray haul because your girl went perfume shopping and body spray shopping yesterday because you know your girl just loves to smell good I am so obsessed with perfumes and like wearing new perfumes and just trying out different scents and learning more about perfume I just love perfume I love to smell good y'all already know how it goes I just feel like perfume and body spray is literally like the cherry topper like I love putting on perfume it just makes everything just so much better like you get done cleaning your body real good and now you get to go ahead and spray your perfume on real nice and get some compliments because people be like dang you smell good I know you guys are probably wondering girl what is going on with the outfit the hair what's going on so basically I just got out of the shower I just decided to go ahead and braid my hair because I'm not really gonna be doing any anything today so I don't really care about looking cute and I have on like these pajamas or whatever surprisingly I actually got these pajamas from the thrift store I went to the thrift store yesterday and I actually purchased these I think it's so pretty so with all of that being said your girl about to go ahead and hop into a haul and what I went ahead and picked up I went to Bath and Body Works TJ Maxx and Burlington the first place I went to was Burlington I had this big bag because I bought my niece a toy and it was like a huge toy and they just put everything all in one bag so this whole bag ain't filled up but I mean it's got some stuff in it all right so let's see okay so the first thing that I see is this love by Sophia Vergara Vergara I know the face I just don't know how to pronounce her name but anyway it is this perfume called love by whatever her name is and I got this in like the gift box or whatever they have these going on at like TJ Maxx in Burlington for like Christmas or whatever and it was $24.99 it literally doesn't even have a description it has nothing on the box describing what is inside of the box and what like the fluid ounces are and none of that oh shoot it came with a body lotion oh I didn't even know it's getting a little difficult to take this John out hold on okay so I'm not sure if this is a rollerball or a spray I don't really like Okay, I can already tell it's a rollerball because of the cap. Yup, it's a rollerball. I don't really like rollerballs, you guys. I'm not really the biggest fan of them, but let's go ahead and smell. Oh, wow. I love this perfume already. Oh, shoot. So I just rolled the rollerball on my wrist, and when I tell you guys I already love this scent, oh my gosh. I really, really love this bottle, you guys. For some reason, I just feel like it's going to be such a strong perfume. Just from rolling a little bit on my wrist, I can already tell that it's going to be a very strong perfume. I absolutely love it already. I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this on my neck, you guys, because your girl... Oh, oh, I'm spraying it in the wrong direction. Oh, I love it. You guys, I should have picked up like 50 of these, even though they only had one, so I just grabbed the one. But Sophia, you know what you are doing, girl. This junk is strong. If you ever see this scent, it is called Love by Sophia Vergara. Vergara? Vergara? I'm not really sure. Pick it up, sis. This junk smells so strong and good. I always feel like the darker bottles always have like a stronger scent to them. I don't know what it is, but sis, every single time I buy like a dark bottle of perfume, it lasts longer than any other perfume. Like my mom and I were just talking about how like dark, darker liquids, perfume wise they always smell way stronger much more concentrated than all the others and then it came with a lotion you guys I'm excited and I'm sure the lotion is gonna work very very good I don't even know what came with a lotion so I'm really excited about that and that's why I feel like the box should have had a description on it telling me everything that it had but it didn't have none of that so I'm just thinking I'm getting like a rollerball and like a perfume but girl I got a lotion okay so yes I am super excited for this stuff right here you guys I don't really like rollerballs but for some reason um this scent is making me love the rollerball I threw this in the bag. It's from Amazon. I just I just got it yesterday. But I threw this in the bag just because I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. So it is called No Bump Body Scrub. And I went ahead and picked this up because people in the review section were saying that it works really good for them. And I got this for my armpits because I cannot stand razor bumps. So basically anywhere that you shave that you get razor bumps, you can use this on. And it's supposed to decrease or like fully eliminate all... Uh, razor bumps or whatever so I hope that this does work if it does I'm gonna have to go ahead and let my girls know because razor bumps are the worst and I got this for $10 it doesn't really have a scent I was hoping that it had like a peppermint scent to it because it looks like it would have a peppermint scent to it but it doesn't it's literally like non-scented so yeah that's not perfume but I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys because I know you guys like to see my new products that I purchased I also went ahead and picked up this Vera Wang, Vera Wang princess perfume and I got it on sale for $12.99 it was originally $19.99 on the regular prices but they put it on sale for $12.99 99, so I was like shoot let me go ahead and pick it up it's a 3.4 fluid ounce and I only get like the three ounces and up because the 1.7 ounces and like the two ounces all that stuff never lasts for me I've never actually had a Vera Wang perfume so I hope that this does work good I hope that it's strong it's flower princess I usually do not like flower scents or floral scents but it stuck out to me because it was on sale for $12.99 if you know what I'm saying all right so I'm about to start opening up this box y'all I'm so excited about this one perfume this smells so strong like I'm smelling myself and I'm just like 
girl, this junk smell good. Okay, so this is actually super cute. It's got like a little tiara. This honestly looks like a crown. This is a crown. This bottle overall is super beautiful. I love like the princess theme. It's like a heart with a crown on it. It's purple, it's beautiful. The cut in the back is real pretty. It gives the illusion that the bottle is like way longer. I just love that other perfume I just sprayed. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so yep. It smells how I thought it was gonna smell. It definitely has that floral smell, so they definitely named it right. I've got this Marc Jacobs Honey Perfume, and these honestly smell similar to me. I'm not sure, like, they just smell alike. I rarely ever reach for this Marc Jacobs. I've had it for a little while. I rarely reach for it, though, and I don't even know why I bought it. Like, it, I bought it for, like, 40 bucks, and it's only 1.7 fluid ounces. And I got this at TJ Maxx, so I got a good deal on it, but, like, that's still expensive for me, and I got this for $12.99, so, I mean, I mean, it comes with a good amount of liquid. It's not really, like, my favorite type of scent. So if you're looking for something that smells like that Marc Jacobs honey, this Vera Wang Princess in the smell Flower Princess smells just like it. I do kind of like floral scents in the summertime and that's about it. Like when it's hot outside, that's about it. Like that's the only time I ever like use floral scents. But in the winter time, I just mix them in with my winter scents or honestly, I can hold you guys up. I wear my scents all year round, but there are just certain things that I like to wear in the winter time and certain things that I like to wear in the summertime. So floral is for the summertime, but if I have a floral perfume and I want to like use it up, I go ahead and mix it with one of my other scents that I really like. And that's what comes in handy when you have like a good amount of perfumes because you can mix things if you don't like a certain perfume. And sometimes when you mix your perfumes with like the perfumes that you don't really like, it ends up smelling even better than before. Like sometimes you need those perfumes that you don't really like to mix in with your favorite perfumes because sometimes they really do end up smelling way better than before. Like I'm not even joking with y'all. <laughs> okay, and then I also went ahead and picked this up. I actually forgot that I went ahead and picked this up. It is the Sunflower Summer Bloom by Elizabeth Arden. I actually do like her perfumes. This was literally only $9.99. Like how could I not pass it up? I mean, how could I pass it up? What the heck? Anyway, so it came with 3.3 .3 fluid ounces and that's a really good deal for Elizabeth Arden. I guess my question to myself is, how did I end up purchasing floral perfumes and I'm not even a floral type person? How, how did that happen? So let's go ahead and take the plastic off and see what the bottle looks like. I hope the bottle's cute. I do have a lot of, well, I've had a lot of Elizabeth Arden perfumes. And surprisingly, all of her perfumes are actually strong. So I hope that this one being such a nice price is strong as well. Your girl is just super excited about these perfumes I got. I love perfume. Like perfume is something that really just gets me super excited. Like, oh my God. Oh girl, this is a classy bottle. It's really like not flashy flashy and bougie it's very just what baby my hair's like anna yeah. from frozen yeah. oh wow you did it like with anna. i did it like anna yeah. oh i love you i love you god bless you, bless you. i see it I love yeah, it's so cute. Bye. Bye, baby. Sorry, you guys, that was my niece. But I just I just feel like the packaging is very subtle and, like, classy and just normal. I don't want to say basic because I feel like that word is used in a negative way now. But overall, I mean, I like it because it's such a tall bottle. I really like tall bottles. I mean, it doesn't really look expensive, so that's probably why the price was so good. But I hope it smells good. Let's go ahead and smell it, sis. Oh, I also forgot to mention, for anybody that's new to my channel, I like to wear, like, spot treatments on my face. So I have, like, this spot treatment going on on this pimple that I have over here, you guys. I've been breaking out, so I'm just trying to, like, Calm it down, you know what I'm saying? I love you too. Like I see him. I'll be out in a minute, baby. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, I like this. Okay, so it's definitely got a floral scent to it, but for some reason they did something in there that I like it. They've got more of a sweet smell to it. I really, really like this scent. Oh, hold on. You guys, I actually really do like this scent for some reason. I'm not sure why I picked up flower scents. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I had a lot on my mind yesterday. I was shopping, but not really. Like, I had my niece with me, and she was acting so bad. So I'm focusing on her, but I'm trying to focus on shopping. But it was just, like, a lot. So for some reason, I went ahead and picked up some floral scents. But I this ended up being a success. The Vera Wang, I'm not the biggest fan of. But this ended up being a success. All right, and then last but not least from Burlington. Um, I've mentioned this Elizabeth. Arden once again Elizabeth Arden I love Elizabeth Arden this is by Elizabeth Arden but um her red door perfume is super strong I've never actually seen her lotions except for like in like gift sets so I've never actually seen this but 
somebody left this in the skincare section and i was in the skincare section yesterday um and i was like hold on please do not tell me this is the real red door lotion because if it is baby uh let me grab it so i was like hold on let me smell it first to make sure that it's strong when i tell you guys this is like one of the strongest lotions i've ever smelled and i really do like red door just because of how strong it is like the scent itself i have some mixed feelings about shall i say because like i like it but at the same time sometimes it's just too overpowering but then most of the time i'm like hold on this scent is beautiful it's real strong every single time i wear it people can smell it they're like oh you smell good and this was 8.99 so basically this is my red door stuff i have the bottle right here that's halfway gone and then i have like a new box that i recently purchased so basically i'm just in love with red door you guys if you ever see red door and you're thinking like i need a perfume that's gonna last me all day just buy a few sprays red door is the way to go the reason why i love red door so much is because my mom used to wear it and like most of the scents that she used to wear that I can remember, I always go ahead and pick up because, girl, it just brings back so many memories. Who can relate? Like, your mama had a perfume on growing up, and then you get older, and you're like, oh, my gosh, I remember this scent. Let me start wearing it. And that's what happened with Red Door, and I'm just super obsessed, you guys. So, yeah, I went ahead and picked up that lotion. It was only $8.99. I couldn't believe it. When I seen it, I was like, baby, hold on. I definitely ain't missing out on that because I ain't seen this before. So after I went to Burlington, I went ahead and went to TJ Maxx and I picked up some perfume. Now, um, these are like unboxed perfumes. So um, usually TJ Maxx never does like unboxed perfume. But for some reason, they had all this unboxed perfume, like just the straight bottles out. And they were like marked at a honestly a decent price because I feel like they were unboxed. That's why they were doing it. So this perfume right here, my mom and I actually both picked up. And the reason why we picked it up, we don't even know what the brand is. I need to go get some Goo Gone so I can take off the price tag, but we don't even know what this brand is. She sprayed it on, my mom sprayed it on, and she was like, okay, this is a really nice scent. I sprayed, I mean, I smelled it on her arm and I was like, oh shoot, let's buy these. So we did go ahead and buy them. This was $12.99. And for some reason, I mean, it's not like a, like a huge brand. It's called Aura of Women. You guys, this scent... Okay, so I'm not gonna say that it's my type of scent, but I can just tell that it's like a strong scent. And it's like one of those scents that I can mix in with like one of my other perfumes and it'll go together perfectly and just last all day. So I'm really excited about this, you guys. I do not know what the brand is. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked it up to see how much it is originally. I don't know why, you guys, but I was just like, let me go ahead and pick this up. I love strong scents. I'm trying to build my perfume collection instead of my body spray collection. I mean, my body spray collection is there, baby. It's there. I mean, I have a collection. But I do not really have the biggest perfume collection like I want to have it because my thing is like I have this thing up on my wall. It says spray up. The Lord is coming back. Tomorrow isn't promised. Now with that being said, I cannot live my life not wanting to use the things that I've worked hard for because I feel like, oh no, that was just too much money. I'm not going to wear it. Like I don't want to wear it because I'm only going to wear it on like a special day and I end up never wearing it. But the Bible says like if you don't think the Lord is coming back anytime soon and if you think he's not going to come back, like, oh no, he's not going to come back anytime soon. Oh, I have time. If you think that way, that's a foolish way of thinking. So I put that up there to remind myself that the Lord is coming back. Tomorrow is not promised. So spray your perfume because I was talking to my mom and my mom was talking about like, like, just spray it like you need to use your stuff because plenty of people that we've known have passed away and never used any other nice stuff that they worked for because they just felt like okay it's just too expensive I can't wear that so I have my expensive perfumes but never touch them like I have a Michael Kors perfume like I spent like well over a hundred dollars for not well over a hundred dollars for but it was like hundred twenty five dollars hundred twelve dollars I'm not really sure and I've only sprayed it like twice and I'm about to start spraying it now because I got this thing up on my wall that says spray up, girl. Like tomorrow's not promised. The Lord is coming back very soon. He could come back today if he really wanted to. So I told myself I'm about to start building a collection and actually using my perfumes. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I went ahead and picked up this Aura of Women perfume and I'm really excited about it because I mean, it was a decent price. $12.99, that's not bad. Plus it smells good. And yeah, I'm just excited to go ahead and mix it with my other perfumes. And I'm excited to see if it really does last all day. I mean, it gives off this scent that it will, but I'm just hoping that it does. All right, and then from TJ Maxx, I also went ahead and picked up this. I forgot. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. It is the Ellen Tracy. I'm not, I don't really know who she is or about her brand, but I do know that she has like a lot of stuff in stores. And this was $7.99. I have to take this price tag off though because I don't like having those on my perfume. Now, my mom actually sprayed this Ellen Tracy on her arm yesterday and I just couldn't believe how good it smelled and it's 3.4 .4 fluid ounces and it was literally only $7.99. Like I seen this perfume at Burlington and they were trying to charge like $20 for it. So I'm excited about this. So let's go ahead and spray this girl. I'm excited. I keep spraying so much perfume. I need to stop because I'm going to end up being stank. Okay, let's see. I always blow on it because if you spray it, I mean, if you smell it right when you spray it, you could just smell straight alcohol. 
Oh, shoot. Okay, this is crazy because this has a floral scent to it, but it's like one of my type of scents. This literally smells so good. Hold on, baby girl. I ain't never smelled nothing like this in my life. It's got an under scent. I meant to say after scent. I mean, in the beginning, it smells amazing. It has this great smell, but there's an under scent that really smells like paint and like somebody hot breath. I can tell that they try to do something with this perfume, but it just went wrong with the, with the, the after scent. There isn't, there's an, an y'all, I'm stuttering because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It smells so good in the beginning. Like it smells like an Elizabeth Arden perfume, kind of. Oh Lord, mm, that ain't it. No. I do feel like though the perfume might be a really nice perfume but it might have been expired and that's why they had it for so cheap so it might not be up to date like that might be like an old old perfume and that's why it has that nasty after scent I did actually try to go ahead and use it the other day I was very very scared too because I just did not like the after scent the after scent was really throwing me off like it was just like gross to me but I said let me go ahead and try it again and mix it with another perfume because I don't want to just be smelling like that. So I mixed it with another perfume and the after scent wasn't there. It was more of like the first fresh scent that you smell. It was weird like if you spray it alone it'll end up smelling. But when I mix it in with my other perfumes it ended up smelling just fine. So that is just something that I always do. I'm not sure how it works. I don't know how none of that works. But I do know that when I mix in a nasty perfume with a good perfume that I actually enjoy wearing it always works out pretty good anyway so now let's jump into the body sprays that i went ahead and picked up from bath and body works because your girl loves bath and body works it was so many people in there i'm not gonna hold you up it was a lot of people in there and it was pretty crazy but let's get started okay so i'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys the body wash that i got because it's not a perfume but i had to go ahead and pick it up they had buy three get three free for their products or whatever so i had to go ahead and just pick up the stuff that I've been wanting. So this is a body wash. It is the new Into the Night Moisturizing Body Wash. I just noticed that they have mostly these type of body washes instead of the old body washes, like the old shower gels. They've got mostly these. And they're supposed to be more moisturizing. Mm, it smells so good, okay, and it has like shea butter and cocoa butter or whatever, and it moisturizes after one shower. So my favorite scent by Bath & Body Works right now is their Into the Night. I just feel like it is their strongest scent as of right now. It just lasts all day. It just smells so good. And I got it for free. I got that bottle for free. My first Into the Night body spray, I got it for free. Because it was like buy something for $13.50 and then get something, oh no, buy something for over $10 and then get something for $13.50 for free or $14.50 for free. Something like that, but I got it for free. And I've just been obsessed with it ever since, but I've been real frugal with it. Like I don't really want to spray it because I'm not going to be able to get back to Bath and Body Works. But like I said, spray it up tomorrow I ain't promised, so I start spraying it up. But I was like, hold on, I'm gonna need another bottle soon. So that's what I went ahead and did. I went ahead and bought another bottle. So I got another body spray, and then I went ahead and picked up the body wash. And I was telling one of the employees at the cash register at Bath and Body Works, like, Into the Night is my favorite right now. She was like, girl, I cannot blame you. Like, it's most of people's favorites right now. I was like, I just feel like it's so much stronger than all the other scents. She was like, I can agree with you. And I was like, shoot, girl, we on the same page. This junk smell good. It's bomb. It's strong. It's what it is. So I had to go pick this up because, girl, when I tell you guys, like, Bath and Body Works body gels and like body washes or whatever, they get me right. Like I'd be smelling so good. I just got out of the shower and I just used the Endless Weekend body gel. This right here is the body wash that I've been using for the past two days. It smells super good and sweet. I got it off of Amazon. It is called Endless Weekend. This is the bomb. It's just so sweet and so sugary. I'm in love with this. Anyway, so like I was saying, I did go ahead and pick up another Into the Night body spray because Into the Night is literally one of my favorite body sprays right now. No, it is my favorite body spray right now. I don't know what it is about it. I love it. It's perfect for this cold weather, you guys. This isn't really like a summer scent, but like I said in tons of videos, I use my scents year round. I don't care what it's meant for. This is just so good though. This is so good for the winter time. Like I feel like in the winter time, in the winter time, my perfumes don't last as long. I don't know what it is, if it's the cold weather just taking my perfume away. I don't know, you guys. I'm so confuzzled with this situation. But yeah, I went ahead and picked up the Inch of the Night body spray because it is the bomb.com. Definitely suggest this body spray out of all body sprays at Bath and Body Works. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I also went ahead and picked up the body cream in Inch of the Night because I'm so obsessed, you guys. Like, I cannot deal. I'm so obsessed with this into the night scent i feel like the main reason why i love this scent is because it's so strong and it just lasts all day bath and body works is honestly like the only body sprays the only 
place that has super strong scents like Victoria's Secret they have nice and strong body sprays or whatever but their body sprays do not last all day like today I'm wearing this cherry pop and it just doesn't really last all day like I have to really mix it in with like a perfume and everything but Bath and Body Works their body sprays do last all day now Victoria's Secret their their perfumes they do last but as far as body sprays go Bath and Body Works is definitely winning right now they are number one they are in the league but yeah, I had to go ahead and pick this up. I know it's not a perfume, but I know you guys still like to see me buy other products and everything like that. So I did go ahead and pick up the matching body cream. Now, the first body spray that I did pick up in Bath and Body Works was this in the stars. Now, I went ahead and picked this up just because of the fact that I've heard a lot of people say a lot of good things about this body spray. I've seen it on Amazon a lot and I just be like, do I want to get it? Do I not? Because I have really been not buying like body sprays and stuff like that on Amazon because I know that I buy them on Amazon for like $12 or whatever and then I can go to Bath & Body Works buy three for $14.50 and get three for free. And some of them on Amazon are regular price like $14.50. Some of them can go even higher than that. But I'd be like, uh, I can go to Bath & Body Works and get the buy three, get three free. That's such a good deal. Like literally, I cannot believe that they even have that deal going on. They've had it going on for a while and that is something that's going to get me, baby, because I love it. And right after I talked about it, I went to Bath & Body Works yesterday and they had buy three, get two free and it was just like like seriously sorry you guys my camera's actually overheating so let me go ahead and hurry this through so I did go ahead and pick up this in the stars and I sprayed it in the store and it honestly smelled really good to me let me smell yeah it's got a very nice scent to me um it kind of smells like gold rush by Paris Hilton I've got this gold rush body spray by Paris Hilton and it, honestly they kind of smell the same they literally are both gold they have like this scent to them that honestly has some relation to it it has like a cologne smell but at the same time it has like a vanilla smell and then like another smell that i can't really describe i don't know i like it it smells very unique and like different to me like i haven't really smelled a spray like this and bathroom body works and i do really like it so in the stars is a yes for me they didn't really have a big selection of body sprays so i just went ahead and picked this up because i'm like shoot might as well definitely sis this is a good one sorry you guys if the angle just changed my camera was overheating so i just went ahead and gave it a break so now i am back and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys share with you guys the rest of the stuff that i went ahead and purchased so i went ahead and picked up this new body spray that they have out at Bath and body works let me calm myself down you guys i need to talk Anyway, I went ahead and picked up this new body spray at Bath & Body Works. It's called Gingham. I went ahead and picked this up, not for myself. I picked this up for my mom because she literally just likes this scent for some reason. When I first smelled it, I loved it. I was like, ooh, it smells good. But she never actually picked it up for herself. She just keeps smelling it and never actually buys it for herself. So I was like, let me just go ahead and pick it up for her. And it literally just gives off like a super clean, fresh smell. That's literally what it smells like. I don't want to spray it because I don't want to spray her stuff. But it smells very clean and fresh. It gives off like a soapy smell to it. It just smells super clean and fresh, you guys. I don't know how... how, how I don't know how else to explain it, but the fact that it smells very fresh and clean. So if you like fresh and clean smells, this is it. It's like a crisp linen type smell so yeah i went ahead and picked that up for her and then i also went ahead and picked up this hello beautiful and honestly i've heard so many good things about it so i went ahead and just sprayed it in the store they didn't have a big selection of products like of body sprays and stuff like that so i was like let me just go ahead and pick it up i mean i've seen it everywhere hello beautiful is like one of the bath and body works like famous scents or whatever it honestly has like this beautiful like sweet but floral scent i don't know how I end up getting all these floral scents. This literally smells super good. I love the name Hello Beautiful Plus. It just gives off a very nice sweet scent. I don't know what it is. They don't really put like the keynotes on the bottles anymore. They used to. But anyway, I just love it. It smells super good. I don't know. I just, I like the smell. Like I just think it smells super, honestly, relaxing and refreshing. And last but not least, out of this whole entire haul, I went ahead and picked up a lotion because my mom had a coupon and I got this for free. It is the Aromatherapy Sleep Lavender Plus Cedarwood um, Lotion. It's like a body lotion. I'm going to be using this for nighttime because it is for sleep and it has natural essential oils and I literally, I don't know it's a glass bottle that's why they had to go ahead and wrap it up i'm so excited so basically the lavender oil is meant to inspire tranquility and the cedarwood oil is to help calm your mind so i'm super excited about this purchase i'm definitely going to be using this tonight before i go to sleep i'm going to keep it like by my bed so i can just apply at nighttime it just it's giving me a vibe you guys like with my gown and everything it's just it's just giving me a vibe a nighttime beautiful vibe but for the last time it's giving me a vibe <laughs> 
I'm just playing you guys, but that is literally the last thing in this haul. Anyway, so yeah, that is it for today's video. I'm smelling super fresh and clean, smelling like perfume. I love you guys. God bless every single one of you guys in the mighty powerful name of Jesus. Keep your eyes focused on the Lord. Keep your mind focused on the Lord so that everything else can fall into place. If you want things and you need things, you have to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ because once you focus on him and you give your life to him, everything else will fall into its place. Everything else will, I promise you, but you have to focus on Jesus. It's like you have to focus on him because his will is honestly what you really want. So I always pray to the Lord Jesus Christ, let your will be done in this situation. If I'm praying about something, I always say, let your will be done because I want for his will to be done because I don't want what I want to be done. I want what he wants to be done because I don't know what I need for myself. I don't know what I want. He knows what I really want and what I really need. So I always put it into his hands. This fight ain't mine, baby. It's the Lord. So I put it in the Lord's hands. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you guys. God bless you all in the mighty powerful name of Jesus. And your girl really does have to go out, get out of here. I have to organize. I need to go cook up something. And I need to go ahead and upload this video. Not this one, but another one. Go ahead and check out that five below video. It's going to be in the description. Mwah.